Let's go. We're on our way. Gonna take the wife and kids because apparently we were not allowed to title the truck unless both people are present, even though both of our names and addresses are on the title and last names match and address matches. But they say both have to be there to title the truck. So we have to take the wife and the kids along to go to the courthouse to title this thing. Ohio, you're awesome. Do not forget. 20 times entries towards winning this truck plus $5,000 cash is ending on Sunday night. Get in while you can. And be sure to check out the emails and texts that we send out. For sure the emails. And take advantage of any bonuses we're offering right now. We offer different bonuses all throughout the giveaway. That way you guys have more opportunities to get in on bonus entries. For those of you that are diehards about getting entered to win these things. And uh, best of luck to you. Next day here, next stage in the process here with the wife's truck. I don't have my, I don't have a hat on at the moment. It's in the truck. It was just so hot. I couldn't keep a hat on for the day. So we've got the little helper, as helpful as he'll be, I don't know, but he will be helping the light switches in the truck go back and forth and, uh, you know, do their thing by making the truck go crazy. But uh, flip it again, Marsh. Show daddy the cab lights. Can you turn it on again? Okay, turn it off. Turn it back, turn it back off the other way, buddy. Thank you. And so that looks good. So we're gonna be working on the next step, which is gonna be getting rid of these busted up mirrors. I think both sides have some damage. So this side's got some glass broken out. And another, yeah, well, you're crazier. So the truck is wired for power mirrors. The door switch module panel here does have the power mirror adjustments here. Truck, truck lights. Yeah, truck, truck lights. And uh, so that being said, we're going to be swapping these mirrors out. And tomorrow, actually, we should have the winner for this truck showing up. Or no, no, not tomorrow. <laughs> it'll be for tomorrow for us, but it'll be two days from now. You'll see the video for that. Then this piece, just a small broken piece here. But there's no power function in these mirrors. Um, they're just your typical manual adjust style which is really frustrating, especially when you're going from like me driving her truck to her driving her truck. Every time I get in, I have to adjust the glass and then she gets in and she can't see anything. So it, it's just a real pain in the butt. So we went ahead and got a whole brand new set, tow mirrors. Okay, we're good with the lights. You don't need to keep flipping them on and off, okay? The truck's gonna have like a spasm. We're gonna unbox these things and these are supposed to be like a fifth gen style, like version of light. Um, they're not exactly like the fifth gens, of course. These are not like pulled off of a, fourth, a fifth gen truck and like thrown on here. These are supposed to be like a simulated fifth gen style towing mirror setup for this truck. Let's check them out. So here's the mirror. It's more of a square style than rectangular. These are supposed to be switched back. So they're supposed to go from LED to amber when turning signals are activated compared to the daylight. The mirrors do have heated glass, turning signal view on the front side facing you. And they do have a light as well that shines down next to the door. So just a real quick refresh here of your standard third gen towing mirror. Hopping on over here to your fifth gen style. Those things flip out like so far. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let me flip this one up see, for some comparison because I know that they're just totally different. Like this mirror has like this indented part of it and it's just a, it's kind of a weird shape versus like when these are flipped up, they almost look like they shouldn't be versus the fifth gen ones. When they're flipped up, they kind of, they don't really change their shape, if that makes sense. Like it doesn't get like halfway rounded and the other half concave the other way to fold in. They kind of maintain their shape, but the glass is so much bigger on these mirrors than those ones. When these are flipped up, they're almost more like Ford or Chevy or your GM style, like mirror glass. Like they're they're that size, like they're bigger versus like that mirror over there when it's flipped up, the glass is just smaller. So overall, it's just, just smaller glass, smaller mirror. And then I did go ahead and plug in this harness that was just dangling behind the door. And then I did select this. And then of course this truck does have the heated mirror option in it as well. So 
um, good to do a little testing just before you put everything together and then find out it doesn't work. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue on with the process of this. There's a couple of things that I'm gonna have to wire up on this, which is gonna be a little bit annoying. Wiring's always kind of not the funnest thing, but there's four different wires on this one little component here. One of them, of course, is just a ground wire, which I can ground off wherever on the truck that's nice and sturdy. But the other three are going to be like your, you know, for your turning signal, you know, which is going to be your major wire on your front turning signal light wiring. And then for the daytime running light, you're just going to connect that to your minor wire coming out of your turning signal wiring harness up front. And then in terms of the wiring for the opposite side, you can always just run that in through the door, through that factory hose that connects the door to the cab. And then you could just run that under your dash, which would be super easy on this truck, just to run it under the dash and tap it into the wiring that is under like the floorboard or like under the dash on the driver's side versus like having to try to fish all the wires through and do it on the other side. It's just not necessary. As long as you got the one done properly and then both are properly grounded off, you can just tap that wiring into the wiring on this side that's inside the cab still where you know where it's at. It's easy to get to and check on. You can do that instead of like having to go wire them directly to the headlight wiring assembly for both of them for your daytime and turning signal, etc. So I'm going to get that process all done and then I'm just going to simplify it and let you know what I connected where versus go through step by step by step by step because I don't really want it to be a 30 minute mirror install video because I've done lots of those in the past. So if you really want to see this in a step by step DIY project style, I've got over 1200 videos and I've got probably two dozen mirror install videos on the show. does not mess up my audio too much but guys the fifth gen style mirrors on the third gen with the color combo that this truck is it's just perfect because not to mention these strips kind of look charcoal as it is so it almost kind of like naturally like just flows in with the color scheme of the truck anyhow and i wasn't sure what to do in terms of the i wasn't exactly sure what to do in terms of the sequential light setting I had the option to either just keep it to where it was just always white LED. In other words, like it would just be, you know, white LEDs, daytime running. And then when she turned on her turning signal, it would just go white LED and stay white LED. Or the option was wire it to where it would stay white LEDs when she was just running all of her others for her daytime lights. And then when she hit her turn signal, they would like go in a strip amber and this goes amber as well and i was kind of torn on what to do because the rest of the whole truck is themed with the white led and you know that's kind of the look of the lighting that we're going with however i'm like you know what for the most part the amber is not even going to be noticed unless she's using her turning signal and it would kind of be nice with a little bit of a different color for the blinker just in case for whatever reason for safety reasons there's people that don't see the white LED blinker as easily as they could see amber. I don't know if that's a legitimate concern or not, but that was kind of my only thought. And I'm like, you know what? It's still going to be white LED any other time. But when she hits her turning signal, it's going to go do the sequential strips in amber. It's not a big deal. But if I always want to change it or if she wants me to change it, it's literally one wire. I just have to move over to another wire and then it's all white. And these suckers, I actually picked them up on Amazon. It was the only place I could find that actually carried these. And I got them in two days, and I think they ran like just under 300 bucks, give or take, shipped. Uh, so pretty sweet deal. I can drop a link in the description below if you guys want to go and pick a setup for yourself. And then if you look under here, if you flip the daytime lights on again, there's also the light down low. And I wasn't exactly sure how else I would want to wire this, 
but I figured, hey, I'll have the daytime lights on and then I'll have it wired to where this only turns on when the daytime running lights are on. So that way, at least they are still wired, but it's not really gonna hurt anything for them to be wired in that manner. You know what I mean? Now the wind is starting to pick up a little bit and I hope not all of my audio gets ruined. You probably could have wired the underglow light to where it turned on when you turned on, let's say your dome light in the truck or whatever, had it to where the wiring somehow was synced to where, you know, when you open your door and that light turns on, the mirror light on the underside turns on. There's there's other ways you could have done it. You could, you could do it however you want. I just figured we're probably never actually gonna use it anyways because when I open my door in the mirror, with the door goes away from where I'm standing to get in and out of the truck. It's not really gonna be that helpful anyhow. It's just kind of a nice feature to have just cause it's there. So I figured, well, she's got it. So I'll at least wire it to something. So I just decided to opt in wiring it to the daytime running lights. That way it's at least on when you flip on your lighting. If you wanna drive around with all your white LEDs on, those will be turned on as well. And I thought, hey, shoot, maybe at night it'll look kind of cool having bright white LEDs shooting straight down towards the ground. And let me show you guys a little side-by-side -side of a fourth gen style. So this is a fourth gen style chrome cap, amber corner lights, and then uh, just, you know, the frame of it's black. Which by the way, you can actually enter to win this truck. Literally you could spend $15 and win a freaking compound turbo 12 out Cummins plus five grand. The thing is freaking sick. I've literally, between buying this truck, paintwork, wheels and tires, I mean, I've got almost 30 grand into this thing for this giveaway, guys. Not including the cash. I mean, it's it's a really well done up second gen and it would make somebody an incredible truck. It's got just a little over 160,000 miles, I think, on it. And we we did the whole build, so we know everything that's done and it's, it's awesome. Anyways, that being said, look at the mirrors. You can see the difference between a fifth gen, a fifth gen style mirror and a fourth gen style, more of that square shape versus a little bit more of that oval shape with a square cap on the end. Just a totally different design, same concept with the flip up on the end, but the overall shape and concept of it is just different. I hope you enjoyed that video and hope you guys like the new tow mirrors on this thing. I do have to hop on a couple of phone calls real quick. So I do have to go for the day and luckily I did get that project done and it went pretty darn smooth. I was gonna show you the wiring, but it is it, it really is very simple. So when you pop out your headlight, your corner turning signal bulb that you see on your headlight, when you pop the headlight out and you pull that bulb out and you look at the wiring harness, the black wire is always ground and then there's only two other wires. So with this wiring system, all I did was I put the wires that went to the underglow mirror light and the white LED strip lights I put those on the minor wire, which is the one that does not flash for your turning signal. And then all I did was I put the amber wire, which in your pamphlet or in your diagram that you get when you buy these things, it'll tell you which color is which. And I believe it was like the, I believe it was the red and yellow wire on this particular set of mirrors. That one goes to your amber sequential light that does the strip that goes across the mirror that's what activates the amber sequential light on the mirror and so it's very simple the underglow mirror light which is the one that shines down on the underside and the white strip light which is the blue wire on this particular harness all i did was i tapped into that wiring harness that goes to the minor on the very end by your turning signal light tapped them in together and that was it and you can get like the quick connectors and tap in systems that you can just like connect your wiring and just clip it down on and it'll tap into the wire without having to make any kind of a mess. Those are, those make it super, super easy. You can pick those up pretty much anywhere. Walmart, Home Depot, Menards, Lowe's, anywhere that carries almost anything to deal with some electrical stuff will have some of those on hand. Um, and they're dirt cheap and they make it super quick, super easy. Definitely use those if you can get them. And then that's it they just tap the black wire into either grounded anywhere on the truck or you can just tap it into the ground wire into the lighting system that's up to you how you want to do that and it works everything's good and everything's perfect then all you have to do you don't have to do both of your mirrors you don't have to tap in your headlights for both of them for your daytime running and your turning signal you can simply tap into the other wiring harness that they gave you if you don't want to like mess with your headlight wiring for two mirrors you can do that if you want but you do not have to do that that's just more work than you need to do you can simply take your wiring and match up the exact colors that you use for that one side and just tap it into that wiring harness that came off of your original mirror on your driver's side that you tap in your headlight. Just 
blue to blue, orange and yellow, or red and yellow to red and yellow, white to white, black to black. And I mean, it's about as simple as it gets. It took me a total of like an hour to do the mirrors and the install the wiring. It's, it's pretty straightforward. If I can do it, you can do it. Anyways, guys, thanks so much. Don't forget to enter to win Nasty Red right now because 20 times entries are ending on Sunday. You don't want to miss out on that because after that, it's going down to 1X. So take advantage of it while you can. Every $1 of 20 entries to win. That compound turbo tool out comes that comes with five grand and the giveaway is ending on June 25th. That means it is ending very soon. You've got like basically a hair over two weeks until that giveaway is over. So if you've ever wanted to own that truck, or win that truck or you just want to know what it's like to drive that truck and you're thinking man i'll just buy a hat take the chance dude come on that's all it takes just a little bit of luck and that truck could be in your driveway plus the five grand and you can do whatever you want with it you can keep it sell it sell the freaking thing for 20 plus thousand bucks and put money down on a house maybe pay off another vehicle you've got that you like more do whatever you want with it that truck has value to it and there are a lot of people out there that would love to buy it in fact shoot maybe i would buy it off you i don't know but all that being said take a chance on it a few dollars could literally win you basically a thirty thousand dollar prize package between a truck and cash i mean it's it's pretty legit so anyways guys thanks so much for all the love and all the support i'll catch you in the next video peace oh yeah stay tuned for tomorrow's because we are going on a four-hour trip to pick up something special and i think you guys are gonna like it